Eating disorders are physiological and physical illnesses. Real Men with Gowns visited Melrose Center in St. Louis Park to see how these disorders affect men. Eating disorders. It's not something society commonly associates with men. But clinical psychologist Aaron Meyer says that is not the case. 25% of individuals with anorexia or bulimia are men. Um, about 36% of individuals with binge eating disorder are men. According to the National Eating Disorder Association, 10 million men in America will have an eating disorder at some point in their lives. An eating disorder is a, a psychiatric condition. It relates to how a person, uh, their relationship with food, and also how they, their self-image, how they view their body. There's a wide range of disorders. Among men, binge eating is most common. The number one cause for an episode is under eating. So a person will go a long duration of time without eating anything at all, and then it becomes very, very difficult to, to manage how much you're taking in. In most cases, eating disorders are identified during adolescence or early adulthood. However, a disorder can manifest itself at any age. Common signs include skipping meals, claiming not to be hungry, eating in isolation, obsession with appearance. There's been a misconception that eating disorders are uh, a problem that affect women, and so it's made it more difficult for men to uh, seek help. Eating disorders are serious but treatable. Melrose Center offers a wide range of care options. The earlier a person seeks help, the likelihood of a successful outcome improves. A good first step is taking one of the online self-assessments Melrose Center offers. Yeah, a lot more prevalent than I thought, not just among men, but in mm -hmm. society as a whole. Yeah, and I've seen uh, among women and men that, that they are on the rise. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great to, to focus on men with this, though, because as you were saying, so often we think about women when we think about eating disorders. Yeah, often overlooked on the men's part of things.